Hello, everybody. Hope everybody's doing fine. I really do. And to all the people that's in Missouri with all of these issues, and they keep coming. People, I got to explain something to you. Right off the get go. You know why the Ku Klux Klan was formed and originated, don't you? There's a lot of things out there to tell you one thing or another about the Ku Klux Klan. It was mainly formed to go around government officials to go around the Constitution to treat people badly. They don't need the Ku Klux Klan anymore. So now you got other strange people doing these things as well. The Ku Klux Klan is just part of the corporation. The corporate entity that is vowing to protect the police officer. Well, he can do whatever. This story, in my opinion, is not going on my blog. I'm not going to have nothing to do with it other than to make this video. This is a video right here where these two young girls were talking about what they seen. What they seen at the time this happened is one thing. What they know is important to the, the investigation. It is not important to the people to get outraged and violent over this and break into people's businesses. Now, that's my opinion. I understand their frustration and I understand why they're upset. I do. But the fact that it remains is the young man done something wrong previous to this happening earlier in the day. Now what he done was violent and wrong. He shouldn't have done that. Not, not even in the least amount of time should he have done that. There's no way that he should have done that. And this is not him. This is the uncle finding out about his nephew. But CNN is going to show it over and over again while they're talking in this episode. I just wanted to show it to you. It is not to calm down the issue, folks. This report here of the Ku Klux Klan is not to calm down this issue. President Obama coming out and talking about he was trying to curve the issue. It's not trying to do anything. It's just enhancing it that much more. It's we, the people, and only we, the people, that can stand up to the thug police department and real thugs. What the police done, whether it was justified or not, I don't know. I can't answer that question. What the witnesses say and what really happened, can we trust it? I don't know. That's just like his partner in crime that robbed the little store. He boasted about all kinds of things, but was he right? No, he wasn't right. He lied. He didn't tell everybody that 
they had just robbed a store and they were being questioned about robbing a store. Or was he not? Did the cop know? I don't know. I wasn't there. And the people that's in this report down here may or may not even seen the report about him robbing the store previous. But it seems kind of odd that that same store of what I've gathered in the report so far is that store burnt down. Now whether if that's the same one or not, I don't know. Because I really thought this would blow over. But it hasn't. It's gotten worse. Now that the KKK um, stands for hmm, you know, it, 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 cor in my opinion it stands for corporate interest hiding behind the KKK yet again. That's what they've always done and that's what they're always going to do. Any organization that has to hide behind a mask, in my opinion, whether they are good or supposed to be good, honest, and straightforward, with no race in it, my opinion, they just, this, this ain't no good. I believe in the rebel flag. I don't believe it with a cross on it. I don't believe it with this particular cross either. That's the Templars. Yeah, they didn't remember that, right? That's also an English symbol as well. This is also a German signal. Y'all do know all that, right? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But it's neither there, here nor there. This is terrible. For this to even been mentioned, and it's not done by just one, here's another one, yet again, right here. And one more, I got one more for you right here, right here, another one. And there's probably several more. But this is just the three that I found and I figured I'd show for this video. I'm not putting up a web page for this. I'm going to have links in the below section for other stuff in the first story that I've done on this. Or you can find it. And the reason why is because it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. If people would allow this to calm down, it would go away like it normally does and tell the truth about what really happened to start with. Now, in my opinion, the police, the county sheriff, whatever he is, it doesn't matter to me, I don't care. The one that's in charge of the police department should have released the store confrontation a whole lot earlier it didn't take them two and a half days to know that that was him it didn't they knew immediately that's why they were trying to apprehend him they knew who it was yeah they knew who it was there's all kinds of stories out there the guy that owned the store didn't call the cops uh, this 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 and that and this and this and this I don't believe all that. You rob me, I'm calling the cops. Just all there is to it. That or I'm going to have protection to protect myself from it. One way or the other. And then I'll still call the cops. Because somebody's going to be hurt. It ain't going to be me. If I got a gun in my hand, they ain't going to be somebody hurt. Just like anybody else out there. So my opinion is, is this, folks. How long, and I swear to y'all, 
if you don't see what's happening to you right now in every aspect that can possibly be happening and I'm talking about this purging crap this is all propaganda that's all it is it's to keep you fighting amongst yourself why would the Ku Klux Klan bring their self into this instance if it wasn't to bring racial divide amongst all people all people don't you understand folks that racial divide has what's hidden your true constitution from you for a hundred and forty three years that's right for a hundred and forty three years this has been hidden from you because of racial divide it doesn't matter whether you're white black Indian American Indian Arab Islamic I don't care what race you are but the whites and the blacks <clears throat> has had the very biggest because they claimed that they were the slaves well I hate to tell you this but all nationalities in this country at one time or another has had some slaveries there was some whites there was some uh, uh, Chinese Mexican and there is still slavery going on in this country now and it's always gonna go on all over the world until we the people get rid of corporate entity we all are slaves they didn't free the blacks they enslaved us all that's what they done so when you hear these stories about the Ku Klux Klan and all their horseshit and everybody else's it's just another hidden door to slam you in the face and keep the door closed to your true homeland constitution where you were bred and believe and raised to believe that you're free when you're really just a slave I'm sorry to say it quite that bluntly but there's no other way to say it. You're not free. You only have the right to say whatever. You're not free. So that folks, let's help to stop this from escalating any further. From my cold dead hands abolish corporate government for our freedoms so we don't have to deal with hooded people and made up television faces to enslave us into debt and into corporate greed and slavery any longer much love Y'all have a good day.